What's up everybody? Welcome to Bonsai Den Haag. Have you ever walk around and see, oh, maybe I can turn that into a bonsai or that tree or that tree. So I was walking around in the neighborhood and I saw that some people were gonna throw this away. They just took it out of the garden and I asked Yana and I, that I could have it. So I cleared my schedule, came right away back home and I will do the repot of those right now. So the faster you repot the tree that's collected from the ground, the bigger the chance of survival. So we have a lot of fine roots. And now try to find a container for this one. Or we just uh, use this one. So the soil that I will be using will be just the regular planting soil with Akadama and I will also mix uh, a lot of uh, sphagnum moss to stimulate the growth. Now I'll put the tree in some uh, root homo. Look at the size of this uh, tree size of the root very two dimensional though but uh, I think we will be able to make something nice of it okay, I need to get this rid of this root over here Mix the soil right here. I need to be quick because I also need to get back to work. Don't throw this back the way of Akadama. You can use this plastic to make air layering. So I will be using these next year to make some air layering of my uh, Japanese maples in my garden. So now that we have the soil ready, we can take the plants out of the water where they are soaking with some, I used uh, the Super Thrive. It's not sponsored, but I use this one, uh, it's very good. Zoom. Next thing you want to do is make sure that the tree will be, don't, won't move. I will tie it on the tree itself. All right, now I find an anchor here in the middle of the tree. And then I will just push it down. All right. Then I'll continue to fill it up. The reason I don't cut this wire is because once I untie this tree, you will still have the length of the aluminum wire. So you can, uh, it's easier to reuse again next time. Okay, that's the first one. Here is the other one. This 
this one I will cut back all the, the tap root here and we need to use a power tool because uh, the wood of Texas is very hard and I don't have time to uh, work it right now. big roots that I'm taking out they almost had no finer roots in them however there are a lot of uh, stored energy that the tree could use to recuperate from uh, from this repotting session so it's a big risk what I'm doing right now but sometimes with bonsai, it's uh, make it or break it. Uh, there's no other way. All right, now we're gonna place this inside the container. With this one, I use the leverage of the bigger roots that I cut to fixate the tree into this smaller container. And this is all already uh, dead wood. So this one could, can be a very nice, uh, will be a very nice bonsai in the future. If it survives, of course. <laughs> it's better to, to use a non-organic soil, for example, 100% uh, pumice or, um, 100% Akadama but this is what I had at home right now so we have to do with this but now the aftercare is even more important because if I let this too wet the roots will, will, will all uh, rotten away because there is too little water flow into the tree fortunately I have some green in this one and in the smaller one all right for the last one I will use this uh, pot but it's a very light we like plastic pot so I will uh, put some stones underneath to give some uh, weight to the pot here we go <clears throat> this is the last one and also the biggest trunk Great thing about Texas, they all grow from old wood, so I can see there are a lot of stumps everywhere. So uh, let's see if this tree will survive. So here we go, we have all three trees reported and fingers crossed they will survive the biggest chance that has to survival is the middle one because of all the foliage they, they still have but the other two they have a very thick trunk and thick uh, roots that I also 
think that they will survive since I done the repot uh, quite fast. And now I'll make sure that they have enough uh, water and oxygen balance and to, to recover faster. And Vahel, if you're watching this, my friend, I promise you one of these or at least uh, whatever one that survives, you will definitely get. And let me know in the comments which one you prefer. And I see you next time in Bonsai Den Haag.